was quite tough, but uh, I'm very enthusiastic because the song is giving me very good response and uh, I enjoy India. I'm a very deep lover of India and Indian culture. So, Bharat Mera Dil Mein Hai. And I'm also learning Hindi. That's why I like uh, the vibrations and this country, which is very incredible, basically. So, uh, so Mika Singh ke baare mein kuch kehna chahenge kis tarah se experience hai unke saath? Pardon? Uh, would you like to describe a little bit uh, Mika Singh? How was the experience that with Mika Singh? That was the old song. Abhi, mera new ghana, uh, That's Amore Hai, just released by E.T. series. And uh, it's a very lovely song because there are clean languages involved. English or Hindi because I'm singing Mujhe Tumse Pyare That's Amore and Amore, which in Italian style means love. And basically this is a very innovative concept because I'm for the first time ever fusion Bollywood and opera together and I created a genre which is called Bollywood opera. And uh, it's very funny to see also because there are different different methods <coughs> involved in the songs like when I'm in the video which is on um, T-series pop chart buster I'm saying uh, now I can fly even without you basically I'm wearing angel swings and I'm trying to go out from the balcony and I'm acting quite wired and uh, the, all the men around me are saying what is this and this gesture which is a typical of Italian style because they always say that we Italian people as I'm born in Rome in Italy the capital city of Italy we move a lot the arms so basically it's quite true because all over the world they are saying we are making lots of gesture and these gestures it's becoming already viral. It's called the Chimbala. So it's a song about uh, the way uh, girls, Italian girls, used to love, which is very free, like a bird. And uh, I am. I also did a comparison um, in how the way instead the Indian lurky uh, love, which is more shy and it's a process, it's a little bit more uh, dire dire. Instead in Italy it's uh, all cra all uh, chaos and all a mess. And I'm also dancing in two kinds of styles, in Bollywood style and in Italian Latino style. So you will see in the video kind of uh, body movements, which is a surprise for everyone. Who is your uh, favorite actor in Bollywood? My favorite actor, it's quite tough to say because actually there are very, very good level actors. So I think, uh, yeah, maybe Salman Khan. I also got the chance of meeting him on the set of um, uh, Bajrao, what do you say? I don't remember the name now. And uh, he was an awesome personality and he was uh, uh, hosting me in such a nice way. He was enchanted by my opera voice because uh, in Italy I'm a seven opera international awards winner. So yeah, I think he's, uh, he's very good. <coughs> he's a 360 degrees artist, he's dancing, he's, uh, um, able to act uh, and uh, also has a very great and strong personality is also very creative so basically I always like creative personalities because me too I was a child prodigy since uh, my childhood I used to be like I used to sing with uh, 40 years old people and I was just 10 years old because I already had uh, this kind of powerful uh, voice like uh, your My grandmother actually, now she is gone, but she was so angry with me because I was a very naughty girl and I used to break her bohemian very thin glasses with my strong voice. So it was quite scary for them because they used to say, you are so, uh, so, so young and so small, from where are you taking out of this huge voice? And then I was discovered by the best opera singer of the world, Luciano Pavarotti and who has been my teacher as well as I did lots of performances with him and uh, that opened my opera, opera career in Italy and then in USA, in Europe and all over the world. What do you find the major difference between Bollywood to Hollywood? Actually you are, you are in UK, you sang the opera yes. and you came in India, you are trying to make your career in India with the Bollywood stars. Yeah. So what, do you, what is the major difference you are looking yourself? Basically, I think that in Hollywood, for example, in the movies, 
uh, there are less uh, dance and less uh, item numbers, uh, which here sometimes they interrupt the plot. But also it's, I like here because it's, uh, India reflects uh, my personality a lot because I'm also sparkling and colorful and impregnable. So I like this way in which they suddenly put an item number in the plot of the, of the movie. So and it's giving good feelings to the audience and to the viewers, so I think it's a nice thing. For the rest, uh, I think uh, the way of acting here, maybe it's a little bit louder, but it, uh, it's like the food also here, it's more spicy, so everything is like enchanted, enchanted, and that's what I like, because I don't like very plain things, or sometimes it's boring. I feel that uh, uh, when things are too much uh, precise, or too much, uh, uh, you know, when you think too much about the things, like in Western countries we used to do, uh, sometimes it will spoil the feelings. And instead in India the feeling is always I. That's why I like this country so much. Would you like to describe one disadvantage of the Hollywood? Of Hollywood? Um, I think uh, maybe they are too much uh, thinking about uh, uh, the plot, uh, the psychology here and there uh, when they are making a movie or if, even in the song, if you see the song they are quite uh, a lot uh, always on the same beats, on the sa using the same chords, um, a little bit sometimes monotonous. Instead with the Indian uh, things you never get uh, bored, it's never monotonous, you will never know what's uh, what's going to happen in the music, in the chords, as well as in the plot of the movies. And there is always something, you know, behind the corner waiting for you. Like when I'm going to the street or I'm walking around all over India because I travel almost all around India, actually almost all around the world. Because nowadays if you see my passport is actually full of stamps, of visa stamps, so there is no more space at all. And uh, yeah, I can say that uh, that India is awesome for this because you just walk and you don't know what's going to happen, something striking effects. And that's what I like because you know, when you start very young, a career like uh, 20 years old, uh, um, actually 20 years of career because I started when I was um, about 10 years old, then um, you feel that uh, you need something new, something more stimulus in your career as well as uh, in the music uh, and I was getting a little bit bored about uh, singing all the time just opera opera so I thought that I would like uh, to reach opera also uh, to the to the mass to the other countries and actually India was the only country that I never visited when I came the first time here it was a spiritual journey and um, I think Gampati God leads me lead me here and so from there I developed my career, everything happened very fast, the collaboration with Mika Singh, the concerts with the Sukhvinder Singh, uh, Italian version of my songs with Salim Suleiman, I sang in Mericom, in Prague movie, just uh, to name a few, and uh, Sajid Vajit song, or Meet Bras, and many others. So I think this is, uh, this is an awesome country. Uh, so what is different between Italian song and Indian show? Italian what? Italian song and Indian song. Uh, what is the difference? Um, I think uh, Italian songs are more plain, like uh, uh, there is just a melody and they don't use so much drums uh, or so much uh, the beat is a little bit more uh, sleepy wala. <laughs> Instead here it's always like peppy peppy, especially when you sing the Punjabi songs or something. It's always more uh, uh, spicy and that I like it very much. And uh, yeah, then if I go into the classical, because I got the chance of collaborating with many artists like Chris <coughs> Banks, uh, Zakir Hussain, and uh, Anup Jalota, Asha Boslev, also. So basically, mm, in the classical field, if we analyze the classical music, the difference between Italian and uh, Indian music, it's basically that uh, in India you have also the quarter of the tone, not just the semitone. And this, in fact, I also said in the um, recently in Subash Guys Academy, where I did a very lovely lecture with Ankit Tiwari and uh, all the fantabulous students uh, uh, for uh, what I got standing ovation and it was awesome because when you see that young people like teenagers they they say oh mom this was goosebumps I love your voice and all I was not expecting because you know 
normally you feel, uh, yeah, this youngster that just want to listen in the, in the discos. So I found a way to combine the beat, very peppy and very suitable to dance, with the opera voice. And that's Bolly Opera, that's uh, head board. Okay. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Uh,